this is just an appeal for our channel. Please support us because um, this channel is for charity. Hi everyone! I hope you all are doing well. So, today we're going to learn about trees. But why trees, Prisha? Because aren't they a part of our world and they're also a part of our environment? And aren't we learning about environment series? Yes, we are. Okay, so let's take a look. So trees are an important part of our world, as you rightly said, Prisha. So why are trees important, Prisha? What do you think? They give us lots of things. Like? Like... They, they give us fresh air to breathe. Okay. Can you think of anything else? And they also oh, make habitats for other creatures to live in, like birds, snakes, yes. sloths, monkeys, all different ones. Okay. What else? And they make our world look fresh and really green and beautiful. Okay, so let's take a look. So trees are important because they provide habitats as Prisha has said. They provide fruits and we all love fruits, don't we? Yeah, I love, I love trees. They provide wood which we use for building furniture. What? They provide pulp which we use to make paper. They provide sap which we use to make syrups like maple syrup. And the most important thing of all what trees do for us is that they clean our air and they help maintain the ecosystem in a very nice shape and keep it healthy. So this is what it does. It is a habitat for arboreal animals. Can you think of any animals? Which ones do you think live on trees? Birds, hmm. snakes, monkeys, sloths. Hmm. Possum, koala bears. And many I don't more. think koala bears live on trees. They do. They live on trees. And you, and oh, I think you said a polar bear. No, not polar bear. Koala bear. <laughs> <laughs> so, how many types of trees do we have, Prisha? What do you think? Thousands. Countless. Yes. But they are broadly divided into two categories. The deciduous trees and the evergreen trees. Um, evergreen tree um, in school and there's a tree that never ever loses its As you said, deciduous trees are those which lose all of their leaves for a part of the year. Like they, they lose all of the trees and it goes bare. The tree has no leaves during autumn and winter. So a few examples of deciduous trees are oaks, maples, willow tree, walnut tree, birch and many more. Evergreen trees, as you rightly said, don't lose all of their leaves at the same time. So they would have leaves at any time of the year. There are many different kinds of evergreen trees including a few shrubs. A few examples of evergreen trees are pine, red cedar, holly, eucalyptus, coconut. Like holly and ben. Ben and holly? Yeah. <laughs> No. <laughs> okay. What do you think are the parts of a tree, Prisha? Um, wood. Yes. Leaves. Yes. Okay, let's take a look. So the top part of a tree is called the crown and it is made up of leaves and twigs. So twigs, branches, trunk and roots are the main parts of a tree. The leaves in the crown have a function of photosynthesis wherein they produce sugar. The twigs have a function of supporting the leaves. The branches have a function of storing sugars. The trunk has a function of support, storing sugars and transporting water. The roots as well hold the tree, absorb water and store sugars. Now let's take a look at the parts of the trunk. So the trunk has got many layers. As we can see, the bark is the outermost layer, below that is the cambium, below that is the sapwood, below that is the heartwood and right aside is the pith. The bark is hard dead layer, 
The cambium is the one which allows new cells to grow. Sapwood is the one which transports water and produces sap. Heartwood is dead sapwood and it supports and gives strength. And pith, it carries nutrients. So now that we know trees are so important for us, how should we look after them? By planting more and more and, and looking after them because then they go dry and then we won't have fresh air. Yes, so we need to give water to plants and we need to plant more trees, as many trees as we can, isn't it? Like, share and subscribe so that then we can make funds for charity.